they gonna call me from the doctor's office right now with the results of the ultrasound I'm waiting fingers crossed I'm just I don't know what to say what to think about I don't know I'm so hopeful but at the same time I just don't know I don't know I don't know what to wait for let's see hello hi Alina it's Dr. Loftar hi how are you doctor hi good first of all I want everything's okay I don't want you to be panicking right now okay I'm panicking because yesterday they didn't tell me anything and this is like first right, time they ever you, they, they can't give you information but they scheduled you with me okay if it were something that was emergent I would have called you myself okay so I'm so sorry that you're panicking I was I even crying okay right I was even crying because like like this is my first first child and with every single one before they came with the results right away so what's going on so what the problem so, the ultrasound showed that there is a gestational sac and there is a yolk sac but there's no fetal pole what that means is that they couldn't see the actual fetus it's probably just too early okay so I just need to schedule you another ultrasound in about 11 days because we know that in 11 days there should be a fetal pole as long as there was a yolk sac beforehand, okay? So, or uh, that's what Maria is doing right now is she's calling them to, okay? The possibilities are that it's either too early to see the pregnancy because maybe, you know, you ovulated sure you ovulated on the 17th so that makes you makes it barely a six-week pregnancy right okay so that's a possibility but the other possibility is that it's a failed pregnancy or a chemical pregnancy okay so that's why i need another ultrasound so we can verify that okay okay at this point it's too early to know one way or the other okay Okay, I know that's stressful, and I know you're. This is the desired pregnancy. I I get that, but it is. Um, let's just do what we can do to figure this part out. Okay. 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 I know you're stressed out. I don't want you to stress. I, and there's there's really nothing I can say or do to make that stress go away. I know that. But, but it never happened um, before. I what had, do you mean this has never happened before? I had ultrasounds even earlier, like at six weeks, and everything was fine, and the heartbeat was there. When? Uh, at six weeks before with my other kids. So this isn't your first pregnancy? You just no, this, this is, is my fourth. Pregnancy. This is my fourth. Your fourth pregnancy, yeah. Okay, right. So I get that. Every pregnancy is different. Every pregnancy has its own situation, okay? So on this one, the gestational sac that they measured, um, measured out of range for estimation of a gestational age, okay? So it was too small. Okay. But they do see a yolk sac, okay? Okay. So there is that difference with your last menstrual period, because that's yesterday you should have been around seven weeks by your period. You're right. But they couldn't see a fetal pole in the gestational sac, okay? Okay. So next step is to see if they can see it at the next ultrasound, okay? Okay. Okay. And if it's not... If it's not, if it's not, if it's not there after eleven days, then it's a, what I would consider a failed pregnancy. Okay. Okay. So what that? It like it's not gonna it just, continue. Usually, it's a, usually it's because like the genetic material material wasn't dividing properly, so a fetus never formed. Um, you know. But, 
but I think let's get there when we get there. Like, we don't have to discuss that part right now because we don't know if that's what's happening, right? Okay. I mean, if you want to, we can. I just think we don't need to have that consideration until we're sure that that's what it is. Okay, so maybe that's why I don't have a lot of symptoms. So actually, I do not have symptoms at all. I just feel tired and that's, that's it. That's a symptom. Okay, but usually I feel very nauseous, like a lot of cravings, but not right now. Okay, well, I mean, you know, again, every pregnancy is different, so that might just be your normal for this pregnancy, it might not be. I, you know, we can't know that either way, um, but what we can do is we can do the next ultrasound that we scheduled and you know, see what next steps will be at that point. Okay. 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 All right. I'm sorry. I, I, you know, there's not much that I can do. I can just make sure that we have your next ultrasound scheduled and that okay. we follow up with you on that. Okay. 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 But, it, but it never happened before. I know. I understand. But usually it is a heartbeat by seven weeks, even before. Right, right. Yes, that is true. By seven weeks, there should be a heartbeat. But it wasn't able, they weren't able to measure anything that says you're seven weeks. Okay. Okay. So you might be earlier than seven weeks. You might be seven weeks and the fetus just hasn't formed. Okay. 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 Does that make sense? Yes. Yes. Okay. All right. So once I have the other ultrasound in hand, I will call you or we'll schedule you for the next day to review the results. Okay? Okay. Okay. Hi, guys. As you guys could see, the doctor said that the pregnancy is not progressing. I'm seven weeks but there is no fetal pole and there is no heartbeat and it seems like at seven weeks it is supposed to be a heartbeat I just have nothing to say and I feel like I wanna cry but at the same time I don't wanna cry because it's gonna affect me a lot it's gonna affect my kids I want to focus on positive and we can repeat the ultrasound in 10 days to see if they're heartbeat or not and what to do next I just want to stay positive as much as I can and I just want to keep myself busy I don't know what to say I feel like um, I told some people and I shouldn't have done this you know you start recreating some things that you did before like I told my neighbor and right now right now I'm recreating I told some of my friends and I just don't want to say something like oh there is no baby anymore because I, I'm just I don't want to hear I'm sorry I'm so sorry for you I don't want to hear that I told my dad who lives in a different country and I told some of the relatives 
and I think it's a big mistake first you need to get a good ultrasound results like good ultrasound pictures that the baby is fine and then you should tell people around you okay so let's see how it's gonna be I don't want to say anything else because I'm just not in the mood I don't know what to do I don't know how I'm gonna wait until the next ultrasound I don't know I don't know bye guys <laughs>